If you've never listened before, you may not know that we give out unexpert advice on topics that we have no real, true, um, valid reason sure. to give dispense advice within the category, right? Mm-hmm. For example, I give out relationship advice. Mm-hmm. Now, that is the pot calling the kettle black. But anyway, we do it, try and help out. This is one of those situations where we are going to do it uh, and try and get to the bottom of the situation. Martin in Atwater Village is on the line. Martin just moved to L.A. Where would you move from, Martin? Um, I came from the Phoenix area. Right on. Welcome to L.A. What do you think? Uh, you know, I'm liking it. I, um of course, everybody talks about the L.A. weather, and, you know, there's just so much to do out here. It's really cool. Yeah, good. Well, welcome to Southern California. So you connected with the girl that you went to high school with. You ended up going on a date and had a really good time. Now she's blowing you off. So, wait, she moved to L.A. too? You guys grew up together, but she's also in L.A.? Yeah, so apparently we went to high school together. Um, I didn't really know her that well in high school, but uh, we had a mutual friend that connected us, so we went out. And, you know, she showed me around the town. We went to Sunset and had a drink at Rock and Riley's. And, you know, it was just a super fun, flirty kind of date. I, I, I don't know of a more exciting way to go on a first date than that. Both of you go to the same high school. You have that in common. You grew up in the same part of Arizona. Then you both somehow independently moved to L.A. There's so much opportunity to have great conversation, Martin, right? You, you, I I thought it was perfect. I mean, this that's exactly why I'm calling you. I thought it was great. I mean, we even kissed at the end of the date, and now she's blowing me off and is, like, super noncommittal, I guess. I really don't know what happened. So you kissed, you had good conversation, but now you're not hearing back, and you cannot figure it out. Yeah, like I said, I mean, it sounds like the perfect date, and it, it really was. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I mean, mm. look. If I end up having coffee with Sean McVay, I'm going to talk about the fact that we grew up in the same place, went to high school miles from each other. Mm-hmm. He went to the private school, went to the public school. <laughs> all of those all of those things are just great, perfect for me, door-opening conversations on a date that right. Martin was loaded with. So what happened? Why wouldn't she respond? Especially if somebody that like you have roots with, you would, why would you just blow them off? Seems not nice. Yeah, it was strange. Like I said, a mutual friend like hooked us up like yeah. made the connection so there's it's, gotcha. it's kind of weird right all right I well so. i don't know let, let's see if we can figure this out hang on for one second what's her name her name's erica all right let's see if we can get erica on the line next you're on kiss fm time for a second date update part two of the second date update we met martin he's like i went to high school with this girl grew up in arizona we both independently relocated to la we decided to connect we connected we decided to go out on a date went on a date we kissed now she's blowing me off. I mean, to me, everything sounds right, but why did she disappear on him? What's the deal? Her name is Erica. So let me bring Martin up. Martin, we're going to talk to Erica for the second date update. Be very quiet now, Martin, okay? Got it. We're going to see what we can find out. Here she is. Let's, you ready, guys? Here we go. Mm-hmm. Erica, good morning. It's Ryan Seacrest. How are you? Hey. Good. Hi. Is this really Ryan Seacrest? What? Yes, ma'am. I got Sissini. I hey. got Tanya. Thank you for listening to us. Or no, I guess thank you for d- Answering. agreeing to come on with us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I guess we don't know oh, if you listen to us. Boy. Yeah. So Yeah. Well, what's going on? Well, we're calling about a guy named Martin. Does that ring a bell? Yes. You grew up yes. in the same place as Martin? You guys went to high school together? Yeah. Yeah, we did. And then you moved to L.A. from Arizona? Yes. And then he moves to L.A. from Arizona. You didn't know it. You guys linked up, and you went on a date, right? Yeah, all that's accurate, yeah. Mm. Okay. So how was the date? And then I'll get to why we're calling. We had a really good date. Good. What did y'all do? Well, we uh, we went around. I wanted to show him around town and had a really nice time. It was It was a nice date. And when you say a nice time, that doesn't give me a lot of details. Very generic. So what was nice about the time? I mean, we enjoyed each other. I mean, it was a really good date. Um, you know, if we, it, was a, it was a really nice date. There's always that moment afterwards or at the end where you say, hey, um, I'll call you or call me or you kiss or yeah. you hug. Or was what, there a how spark? Did it all end. Yeah, no, we just haven't gone out again. Um, you know, we, we kissed at the end of the night, but 
Uh, we just haven't gone out again. Is he a good kisser, Martin? <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. All right. Yeah. So here's what we're getting at, Erica. You go out, you have a good time. He's a good kisser, apparently. And you have not made plans to go out again. Why is that? Uh, all right. Uh, I, I, it's a little weird. I found out that he, back in high school, hooked up with my friend Julie. And I've just been weird ever since I found that out. Julie and I are still friends. And I'm just a little uncomfortable with that. Yeah. How might be a deal well, breaker? Well, Sissini, you've not been dating in a long a little time. Bit. Okay, it's That's a small okay. world. It's a small world. It's like double well, that was Wait. That was like six years ago. Hey, Erica, that's Martin. He is on the line. <laughs> and that was my next question. Erica, he has been listening. Martin is on the line. How long ago was high school? When was this date, Martin? Six years? That was, that, <laughs> that was six years ago. But six years ago in high school, Erica, I don't think you should hold him accountable for that. I know. It's just weird now. And hi, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Erica. Yeah, this, well, this is weird, too. But the thing is, uh, yeah, we made out at a party at Brett parents, Brett's parents' house, you know, but come on then. Okay. A year later we hooked up, but we never really dated. Like I said, this was like six years ago. Uh, yeah. I, I'm okay with all this. This is six years ago in high school. You're young, you're wild and you're free in the words of someone. Maybe, but then you just always have that in the back of your head that like, Oh, your friend has also been with him. Yeah, you gotta get past that. I could never get past that. If I end up marrying the guy, if I end up, my husband could not be someone that my friends have been with. There's no way. Tanya did not with. They didn't even really date. He said they did. They made out and then they did hook up the next year. Well, you know what hook up means in high school. Uh, Okay, but hold on. High school, so like Erica, Erica, did did Julie say you shouldn't go out with me? No, she didn't say that. She was fine with it actually. But isn't it just weird? Don't you think it's weird? Tanya, no. would you help on this? I don't think it's weird at all. I'm with Tanya. You don't think it's weird. If Robbie and I went to the same high school, you and I went to the same high school. Yeah, but, like, uh... And I had hooked up with him. You don't think that's weird to then be with him now? Well, when you put it like that. Yeah, when you put it like that. I that's mean... what this is. It was her friend. No, um, come on. High school was a long time ago. I mean, we should. Matter. I think we should it's put it bugs. behind us. The bugs. I mean, personally, I'm all right with it for you guys. Oh, see, now the tables are turning. I'm all right with it for you guys. So, I don't... Look, Erica, if you really like Martin, do you want to go out again and just see how it feels? If it still feels weird, then stop. But it sounds like maybe you guys had a little something, right? Yeah, yeah, we did. Um, okay. I mean... Let's just let's agree yeah. to go out one more time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I will, but, but I'm going to tell Julie. I can't, like... Be, of course I don't you wanna, tell Julie. Not, that, that, that's fine. That's fine. She, she won't care. Great. Well, this is a problem well, solved for the moment. Hey, good luck. Thanks, Erica. <laughs> Thanks, Martin. Good luck. Thank you both. All right, bye. I mean, when you put it in, like, high school and six years terms, when you put it in Robbie and you terms, yeah, that throws me like a little that. bit. See? I, I was weird. Kiss. That's what it is.